there is no cure for Alzheimer's disease per se, but getting a diagnosis quickly at an early stage definitely helps patients. It allows them to access help and support, get treatment to manage their symptoms and also plan for the future. Now being able to accurately identify patients at an early stage of the disease will also help to understand the brain changes that trigger the disease. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about a new diagnostic way to help out in finding Alzheimer's disease. A recent research has used machine learning technology to look at structural features within the brain including in the regions not previously associated with Alzheimer's. The advantage of this technique is its simplicity and the fact that it can identify the disease at a very early stage when it can be difficult to diagnose. The research that I'm talking about is published in the Nature Portfolio Journal Communications Medicine. Now doctors currently use a raft of tests to diagnose Alzheimer's disease, including memory and cognitive tests and even various amounts of brain scans. The scans are used to check for protein deposits in the brain and also the shrinkage of the hippocampus which is the area of the brain linked to the memory. All of these tests can take several weeks both to arrange as well as to process. Now this new approach that I'm talking about, it requires just one of these which is a magnetic resonance imaging which is the MRI brain scan which is taken on a standard 1.5 Tesla machine which is commonly found in various hospitals. The researchers adapted an algorithm which developed for using in classifying the cancer tumours and applied it to the brain. They divided the brain into 115 regions and allocated 660 different features such as size, shape and texture to access each region. They then trained the algorithm to identify where changes to these features could accurately predict the existence of an existing Alzheimer's disease. Using data from the Alzheimer's Disease Neuroimaging Initiative, the team tested their approach on brain scans from over 400 patients with early and later stage Alzheimer's, healthy controls and patients with other neurological conditions including frontotemporal dementia and even Parkinson's disease. They also tested it with data from over 80 patients undergoing diagnostic tests for Alzheimer's. They found that in 98% of the cases, the MRI-based machine learning system alone could accurately predict whether the patient had Alzheimer's disease or not. It was also able to distinguish between early and late-stage Alzheimer's with fairly higher accuracy in close to about 79% of these patients. Now, waiting for the diagnosis can be a horrible experience for patients and their families. Therefore, if we could cut down the amount of time they have to wait, make diagnosis a simpler process and even reduce some of the uncertainty, that would definitely help a great deal. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.